Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Redwan Kasimi, a mechanical engineering professor at the University of South Florida. And today I'm going to talk uh, to you about spatial descriptions and transformations. Uh, and this is chapter two of our uh, textbook uh, that you can use for reference uh, in this video. Uh, the summary of this chapter, uh, we're going to learn how to describe objects, positions, and orientation in 3D space. Uh, and then we're going to learn also how to transform these descriptions to different reference frames in 3D space. Uh, either transform them uh, to a different re reference frame or transform the objects themselves within the same uh, reference frame. Uh, some of the learning objectives that we're going to learn in this chapter, we're going to learn how to describe objects in, in 3D space, and that includes position and orientation of objects. We're going to learn how to map objects in 3D space, so we can map them and change uh, the description in, uh, from reference frame to another. We're going to also learn about transformation operators. Uh, these are operators that we can use to transform uh, objects uh, descriptions from uh, within the same reference frame. And then we're going to learn about transformation matrices uh, that we can use also uh, as a homogeneous transformation matrix uh, to describe these uh, uh, objects. And then finally, we're going to learn about rotation matrices, uh, Euler angles, and equivalent angle axis representations of orientation. So all these topics will be covered in this chapter uh, as we go through it. We're going to start here by talking about the topics that we're going to cover for this chapter. So the first three topics are descriptions, mapping, and operators. Now these three are related together because they see they, they use the same technique uh, and you know kind of similar equations. Uh, the first item here, this first topic describes uh, position, orientation, and uh, frames uh, in space. So that's the first topic, the descriptions. And then the second topic, uh, the mapping, uh, it's the change of description uh, of a point from one frame to another. So so you know the point will be described relative to one frame. And when we change it to be relative to a different frame, uh, that's called mapping. And then the third topic is the operators, which is basically, you know, the translation uh, and ro rotation of vectors uh, within the same frame. So relative to the same frame. OK, these are called operators. Now, all three of these, again, use similar equations. So they're all related. And we're going to take them one at a time and develop these equations that we'll end up having uh, in a similar way. And then afterwards, we're going to talk about uh, transformation arithmetics, which includes compound transforms, uh, inverting a transform, and so forth. Uh, and then we're going to talk about some uh, more representation of orientations. Uh, so in this topic here, we're going to talk about Euler angles, fixed angles, um, single angle axis representation of orientation. And then the last topic we're going to cover is MATLAB commands uh, that will be covering uh, commands that are related to this chapter. Now, our first topic is descriptions, and this is uh, basically describe positions, orientations, and frames. Uh, so we're going to take each one of these separately and then talk about them and see what kind of equations we use uh, for these uh, three uh, aspects of the topic. Uh, let's start with position. Define the position of point P relative to coordinate frame A. And this is pretty much what you all know from high school and, and earlier. If you have a 3D frame that has X, Y, and Z, we call this frame A, and we have a point P, and we need to define this point P relative to frame A. Okay, so this vector here, we call this P relative to A. Okay, this vector describes point P relative to frame A. Okay, so to make that description, what we need to do is get the position vector P relative to A, and that would include the projection of P on the x-axis, and the projection of, of P on the y-axis, and the projection of P on the z-axis, okay? So we'll call this Px and Py and Pz, okay? So that vector P relative to A, this is how we read, it. We read this, this vector, vector P relative to frame A, okay? And that includes three components, component in X and component in Y and component in Z, okay? So that's how we do the description of point relative to a frame that has only position uh, description. 
Let's take an example on this um, example on position. Describe the, and draw the position of point P relative to coordinate frame A. And we always put coordinate frames in uh, curly brackets. If point P is positioned at 2, 4, and 3 units in X, Y, and Z of frame A. Okay? So let's look at the solution of this. Here I have a drawing of this frame A, X, Y, and Z. So to draw a P, first I need to go in the X direction by two units. So this is my X direction, positive X direction. I have one and that's two units. So that point P right now is right here. And then I have to go in the Y direction by positive four units. So if I'm here, I'm gonna go into the Y direction. This is the Y direction. So right now I'm here, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four units, okay? And as you can see, this can project back to Y at four, okay? And then for the Z, I have to go up on the positive Z direction by three units. So this is where I was right here. And then I have to go three units up in the positive Z. So that's one, two, and three units, okay? So that ends up being P, the location of P. And then I can define that vector P from the origin of frame A into the point P and call this P relative to A. Okay, so that's how I can do this in uh, 3D space. I can always also use 2D space uh, by, by just taking two axes of frame A uh, at a time. So here, if you can see, I have X, A and Y, A only. Okay, and Z basically is coming out of the screen. And again, in A, I have to go two units. So that's my A positive down. I go one and two. And then in the Y, I have to go four units. So I go one, two, three, four. And that ends up being my point P. And that would be my vector that describes point P, which is called P relative to A. Okay. And then I do another projection here to account for the Z axis. So here I have Z and Y. Okay. And again, in the Y, I already did four, but I'm going to do it here again for uh, this uh, projection. I'm going to do four in the Y, so that's one through four up here. And then I need to, do, to go three units in Z, positive Z, so I go one, two, and three. And that ends up here. And that would draw also my point P in this uh, view. And that would be my vector that's called P relative to frame A. Okay. So either of these uh, projections are fine. So whichever drawing you prefer, 3D or 2D, as long as it's clear and it describes the point relative to frame A, uh, it would be fine. Now to mathematically write this, I'm gonna define P relative to frame A and it's two units in X, four units in Y and three, three units in Z. That's what's given here in this problem. Now let's take an n-class exercise and I want you guys to do this uh, on your own. Uh, describe and draw the position of point P relative to coordinate frame B if point P is positioned at 3, negative 1, and 2 in X, Y, and Z of frame B. Okay, I'm going to pause for a minute, for you know, a few seconds actually, but if you would like, uh, please pause this video and work on this on your own and then resume uh, once you have the solution for this problem. Okay, assuming that you have finished the solution for this problem, I'm gonna go ahead and put the solution here. Uh, this is the drawing. As you can see, I went first with the X direction, I went positive three points, one, two, three. And then in the Y direction, I went negative one uh, unit in the Y. And then in the Z direction, I went positive two units, one, two. And that ended up being my point P. And then I drew that vector that describes uh, point P relative to frame B. Okay, so this is frame B, this is point P relative to frame B. And then uh, I defined my vector here mathematically, and that's P relative to frame B equals to three, negative one, and two units. 